Here we go, guys. I'm tired of shit. Not walking around the whole car. I'll just give you a little bit of it. Uh, this is one of three colors. And I should have did it last, you know, thinking about it, because now what I did, I put myself in a position now where I got to try to cover all of this, you know what I mean, to put down the other two colors. But I got an idea I'm going to do on this to make up for that. Um, I did the fender. Inside the fenders, I, you know, I got like four colors going in here, so... Yeah, I'm getting there. But I put a run in this fender right here. I, I ran it so bad the base came. <laughs> the base came up. Look, look how you can almost see through it. God damn. I put a I put a clipper run. I put a TJ Cuss. I put a clipper run in there. And then instead of leaving it alone, what I did was uh, if you know anything about painting, first of all, let's get that. <laughs> but if you know anything about painting, sometimes you can take and put more and make the run. I jacked the car up on that side. So, I don't know if you guys can see. I jacked the car up on that side so the run would come this way. I, it took the whole goddamn paint. <laughs> I did uh, the lower part. I did it in bed liner and cleared over the bed liner. So, it's got texture in it. I, I hope you can see it. But I got moldings. And I'm going to do the moldings blue so I can break it. So you can break so much black. When you're dealing with a dominant color like black, you need colors to, to break it. But it, it looks good. It looks like it got uh, fucking glitter in it, but it's not. It's just it's texture. And I did that for a multitude of reasons, guy. This car was pitted. What pitted means is I had the white mud on this whole, all, both quarters. <laughs> I mean, this time Christmas trying to finish this motherfucker. <laughs> and so I came up with the idea. You know, went up to Walmart and bought me some bed line and taped it off. And I only did the quarters, the outer quarters. I did the back bumper chrome. I mean, gloss black, the back bumper was chrome. And um, what you see ain't painted is going another color tomorrow. So when I wake up in the morning, um, Sunday, this part will be blue and silver. So it's, it's going to be awesome. Just wait. And that'll get the body out the way, and then I can deal with the hood trunk. And all that stuff is also going on, um, you know, gloss black, you know, trunk. Who's going gloss black? Uh, the doors, I have those multiple colors in them. But uh, it's coming along fine. But I did put a run in that sucker, boy, look here. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's when you know you're tired. A run like that, that simply just tells me you tired of shit, you need to stop. So, uh, the car overall is coming good. I tell you, I was going to use this week to get done what I can. I'll let this car sit and dry, let this black sit and dry and buff the dog shit out of it, and it'll be the prettiest thing you ever seen. So, I, I mean, I'm going to get off of it. This was my last weekend working on it for a little while, guys. I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to wake up in the morning, put the blue and the silver in, and park it out dough, let the sun bake it. The inside is completely done. Um, you know, I just got to wire up all the music and LED lights, radio and all that stuff. But that'll be something I'll do on the end. Um, after this, I, I believe I'll tackle the engine bay. Or I'll just start doing some of the parts. I haven't made my mind up yet. But one or two. Um, I'm tired of shit. I'm going to take my shower and give me something to eat. And peep at this TV for a minute. And...
get my ass to bed. I'm gonna put my cigarette up. Get my ass to bed. I'm tired. I don't know what else to get that damn cigarette like. Anyway, guys, this is. It came out beautiful. Let it dry. Cut tape.